Thank you for joining us this week as we've been putting some miles on the 2014 Volkswagen Jetta. The small sedan from Volkswagen is available in four trim levels. We happen to be rolling on some nice 17 inch aluminum wheels and we've got the 1.8 liter turbocharged four cylinder under the hood that's backed by a six speed automatic. So while there are a couple of engines available under the hood of our 2014 Jetta, we've got the 1.8 liter turbocharged inline four. Now this engine is gonna produce 170 horsepower. It is backed by a six speed automatic. So our review Jetta is rated for 25 miles per gallon in the city, 36 out on the highway for a combined EPA rating of 29 miles per gallon. On the interior of our 2014 Jetta, we're gonna find a nice combination of materials. We've got a couple of different textures here on the door panels with some nice aluminum trim, aluminum door latch here. Got a big, easy to grip door pull here as well as our controls for the driver. Coming on around to the gauge package, we're gonna find a couple of nice large round gauges. Very easy to use, very much a, a driver oriented setup without being overly complicated. And in between these two is where we're going to find our digital support screen. Now this is controlled by a couple of buttons down here on the dash itself instead of on the steering wheel. Now coming back to the steering wheel, our controls here are going to be for our audio system as well as our voice activated. Now our cruise is actually on our turn signal lever right here. All our settings and adjustments for that. And then coming on across to the center stack, we're going to find we've got a nice monitor here that's surrounded by buttons. Uh, we've got our band for our audio and media and our nav buttons are all, controls are all set up here. Uh, easy to read, easy to see. Some options for each of these features is right here. And then coming on down, we're going to see our manual controls for our air conditioning as well as our heater and seat. Our seats are actually heated and we do have an available option for the cooling seats. Coming on down, we're going to see that we've got some deep storage here in front. We've got a, another power supply right here by our start stop button. And then we've got our shifter for our six speed automatic. Now this is a um, leather wrapped, leather boot type shifter setup here. It does have a nice aluminum trim to go around it to match the rest of it. We do have the rear camera monitor, so pulling this down in reverse, we're gonna get a shot of, real quick of how well the camera works. Uh, very nice, clear picture. Coming on back, we've got uh, some drink holders. And then we get to our padded center armrest. It's uh, got a nice texture on it, much like the door panels do. A quick latch, and it opens up to give us some deeper storage here or with another media outlet. Then coming over to our seats, they are perforated because they are heated on this vehicle, and there is the option to get them ventilated for some cooling. But they've got a nice performance style the way they're put together. All around the dash, we're going to see some more of the aluminum trim, as well as a nice deep storage area. Then looking again at the door panel, we can see again the deeper storage area there. There is a drink holder there. And the material, there is some storage that slides kind of behind this here, so it is a lot bigger than it looks. So moving into the rear passenger area, we're gonna see a nice clean layout. We've got uh, rear storage here in the back of the front console. It's got a power supply as well as a door lock button, a couple of different options for storage. Got some soft storage behind the passenger seat. And we're gonna see that the seats themselves are paneled with some nice stitching, a nice perforated type panel on it for available options. And we've got an armrest in the center that folds down. Got a couple of drink holders here, it's padded. And we've got this piece here that comes out, gives us a little more access into the rear truck area for if we got something very long we need to put in here. It's a little different design, but seems to work quite well. These are a 60-40 type seat, and they do fold down, but the release is in the trunk. Once you go into the trunk and release it, the seat will actually just fold down, giving uh, access to long items in the back for plenty of cargo. And of course, when you want to put it back, you just simply pull it up and it fits right back into place. We'd like to thank you again for joining us this week as we've been putting some miles on the 2014 Volkswagen Jetta SEL. 
Now we've got a choice of aluminum wheels, we've got a couple of different power plants under the hood, and we've got some choices on the interior. We happen to have the nice 17 inch aluminum wheels, the leather interior, and the 1.8 liter turbocharged engine under the hood that's backed by a six speed automatic. If you get a chance to drive one of these nice vehicles, we highly recommend it.